Hey everybody, Mary Z here, back once again for Voice Hacks by Mary Z. Uh, today I want to talk about a question that a lot of you ask me. What exactly causes the distortion in our screams? So I want to talk a little bit about the anatomy of the voice and what is making our screams distorted. It's actually not our vocal cords. Um, it is actually these other tissues inside of our windpipe. Let's review and remember that the voice, the trachea, is where our voice is, the windpipe, not the food pipe. So we kind of think about drinking a lot of water when we're singing. So some people kind of forget that, that it's in our windpipe pipe and it's only air that makes our voice move and it's only air that makes the tissues flap around that cause distortion. It's only by virtue of the fact that we have a bunch of loose tissues hanging throughout our trachea and through our soft palate and our sinuses that we can shake around. It's only by that uh, means that we can make distortion at all. Some white noise and some of the distortion like fry screaming comes from air escaping between the vocal folds, but our vocal folds themselves, our vocal cords, should be smooth on the surface. When we sing, they come together like this, and they kind of undulate as they touch, and they should be smooth along that surface. And as, if everything is uh, going well, and they're coming together and touching all the way, then we're not going to hear any distortion, and, and we shouldn't. What happens in screaming, whether it's false chord screaming, which is voiceless screams with the vocal cords open and just the tissues flapping around or voice with distortion raspy singing or shouting or fry screaming which is the vocal cords closed but the tissues flapping around um, we are going to get our distortion all from those tissues um, there has been a couple of people who studied this there was a german scientist who st studied the false chord screaming and slowed down the video so that you could see the false cords really flapping. And if you go on the internet and you just Google video endoscopies of people false cord screaming, you can really see their false cords, which sit right above the vocal cords right here. You can really see them flapping around like this. So there's a lot of evidence of this. So we've only kind of understood this since we've had modern technology and we can observe these things in action. But just know that when you're making proper distortion and we're feeling the tingling uh, of the tissue shaking around, it's very different from pain or strain and it shouldn't hurt at all. So in this video, I'm not talking about how to do any of these screams. Go back and watch my Screamer series playlist. And also keep in mind, guys, it's not entirely realistic to learn uh, how to scream from a few video tutorials. This is like really advanced stuff. So you may need lessons. So if that's the case, I give lessons worldwide to students on Skype every week. So email me at voicehacks at gmail.com if you're interested in that. But otherwise, try my Screamer series playlist and see if you can start maybe with the false chord scream and get things going, get things flapping around and get used to the sensations. As always, these sounds should not make you hoarse. So stop anything that causes pain, strain, or hoarseness. And just know that it's not your voice that creates the distortion. It's the flapping of the tissues primarily that creates most of the distortion. So thanks very much for checking out this new video. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube and check out my playlists if you're interested in more detailed training and some sounds that you can try to start making to start screaming.